trees, tree-based methods, decision trees, random forests. Let's have a look at what's going on here. These are, in a nutshell, a bunch of if this, then that for your data. And so I thought, why don't I manufacture an if this, then that rule, the traditional programming way, about my movie preferences, so you can all recommend movies to me. So I thought about what I like, and I came up with this rule. If it is a mystery, a thriller, or a sci-fi movie, hand it to me, I'll like it. And then I thought, but am I not a data scientist? Come, come now. Should I not maybe add data and see what the performance is of this rule, this algorithm or recipe that I have? Because it doesn't matter whether it came from a machine learning system or I dreamed it out of thin air, I can still assess the performance the same way. See what it predicts, see what the truth is, and look at the results. So what I did was I grabbed the IMDB database, I shuffled it, and then until I couldn't be bothered anymore, and my attention span is about 200 or so. I rate it, like it, don't like it, like it, don't like it, like it, don't like it. I gotta watch that one, like it, like it, don't like it, anyway. And I have for you the results from the training set, which is something like 100 movies. Let's find out how this rule does. Turns out, precision's pretty good, and I'm aiming for precision here, you know, like with the books. I'm pretty busy, I'll never be able to watch all the movies I like, so let's have a don't waste my time kind of approach here. I can leave out some good ones, but you know, if you suggest it, hopefully it's likable. And if you follow that rule, three out of four are gonna go down nicely. It's a relief to me to see that recall is low. That suggests that maybe this doesn't cover the full diversity of my movie preferences, if this were 100% recall, that means I have a very one-track preference, just that, nothing else. Then I thought, all right, why don't I let machine learning have a go? And I'm gonna ask for a really simple model based on any of the features in IMDb, but a decision tree with just one node. I'm gonna show you the rule on the, on the next slide. I want you to look at it in this order. First, watch the precision go up. Then watch the recall go up. Then read what the rule is while I stand here cringing. Here we go. <laughs> if it's long, I'll like it. Above 127 minutes, yes, otherwise no. Now, what does this mean? Well, from a data science standpoint, the only thing it means is that in these data, this rule outperforms my other rule. There is no other thing that it means. If I'm tempted to start spinning stories all about how, yeah, maybe this means something about directors investing more effort in longer movies and so the quality of the movie is whatever, or some story about how Cassie is so pretentious that if I'm tempted to start making such stories, I need to be aware that I'm in danger of overfitting and I shouldn't take myself seriously unless I go and carefully articulate that story as a hypothesis and then test it in another data set that I didn't use to form this impression. And if it holds there, then it holds. Now, I didn't have to have such a simple rule. I could have gone for a slightly more complicated one. So let's have two nodes. Oh dear. I'll like it if it's long, but if it isn't, let's have a thriller. Slightly lower precision, but unfortunately this now covers two thirds <laughs> of my movie preferences in that set. So simple creature, simple creature. But I could have an even longer rule. A lot of decision tree algorithms, if you don't tell them to stop, they will just keep going and going and they'll make you quite the tree. Let's read this one, it says, is the runtime more than 132.5 minutes? If yes, then is the runtime more than 143.5 minutes? If yes, is the runtime less than 165.5 minutes? If yes, is the runtime less than 156.5 minutes? Then she'll like it. And your spidey senses are tingling, I hope. What word is bubbling to the tops of your consciousness? Overfitting. Yeah, it fits these data really nicely, but it is probably utter nonsense 
for the rest of reality. This rule is not going to work if I try to predict movie preferences outside this data set, even though it works really well in training. Look at that, 84% precision, 88% recall. Now, because they tend to be implemented so they make you these big convoluted rules, you will need to run a pruning algorithm to snip, snip, snip back their enthusiasm. And you'll say something like, no more than this many nodes. How do you pick how many nodes? Well, it is a hyperparameter that you're going to need to tune. So that's why you do that tuning step. <laughs>